Mary found herself on the bathroom floor surrounded by dangerous strangers, and she thought she wouldn't survive the ordeal. Suddenly, something unexpected came to her aid. Mary was an elderly lady who had been retired for quite some time. She spent her free time volunteering at the local community center, helping the youth with their activities and supporting any other events that needed planning. Mary used to be an English teacher, so she spent most of her time around books. Her favorite place in the world was the public library. Although Mary was a public figure around town, she was quite a recluse. She preferred her own company and space more than anyone else's. In fact, her house was located quite a distance from her friends, and she liked it that way. She knew that at home she could enjoy her privacy and solitude. Mary, in her older years, longed for solitude and enjoyed spending time with her cat, Sally. She was also a fan of hats and believed that there was no better way to read a good book than with a cat on her lap. Sally was Mary's best friend, and she had adopted her when she was just a small kitten. Sally would play in the garden while Mary tended to her flowers and snuggle up on her lap while she read. One day, Mary found a sweet little kitten outside the library and decided to bring her home. She had come across the kitten by chance when she left the library through a different door than usual and heard intense crying near the dumpster. Upon investigating, she found the kitten and decided to take it home with her. It seems that Mary believed that her past encounters with someone were meant to happen, but she didn't know how much. She found a cold and upset cat, so she made it warm with a blanket and gave it some warm milk. Sally, her friend, was very interested in the kitten and stuck to it all the time. Mary named the kitten Tibby and cared for her as she did for Sally when Sally was young. However, Mary began to notice that Tibby was different from Sally in many ways, and she initially assumed it was due to different cat breeds. But as Tibby grew, Mary realized that the kitten was not a typical cat. Tibby was triple Sally's size, even though she was only a few months old. Mary suspected that something was not right and decided to seek help in solving the mystery. A friendly veterinarian welcomed Mary and her cat into his office. He asked if he could open the carrier to examine the cat. However, as soon as Tibby came out of the carrier, the veterinarian's friendliness vanished. He gave Mary a cold stare that conveyed shock and anger. Mary was confused and asked what was wrong. That's when the truth was revealed. The vet exclaimed that owning a lynx as a pet was illegal. Mary was absolutely stunned and didn't understand. She explained that there must have been a mistake because she had found Tibby and thought it was an ordinary cat. The vet calmed down a bit and explained that Tibby was definitely a wild lynx. Mary was in shock because she had unknowingly taken in a sweet little lynx that had been abandoned by the library. Mary was taking care of a small predator in her home, but when she took it to the vet, they determined it was best to release it back into the nearby woods. Mary was devastated, as she loved the little cat, but she knew it was the right thing to do. She couldn't keep it due to its illegal status and size. After saying goodbye to the lynx, Mary became very depressed and isolated herself at home. She also had to deal with false rumors that she had knowingly housed a dangerous animal, which caused conflicts with her neighbors. As a result, she kept to herself. Mary had become even more of a recluse over the course of a year. She had stopped participating in her duties at the community center and could only be seen at the library or the grocery store, where she avoided any social interaction. Mary felt that this was a good way to live, but she was missing out on important communication and information that circulated around the neighborhood. Recently, there had been a series of break-ins by a group of drug dealers who found the elderly town an easy target. The town meetings urged people to lock their doors and stay in contact with one another to stay safe. However, Mary was unaware of this as she wasn't attending the meetings or keeping in touch with her old acquaintances. This became a problem when tragedy struck Mary's home on a dark and gloomy evening. After finishing dinner, Mary was cleaning up in the kitchen when she heard her front door slam shut. 
This was strange because she was certain she had closed it, but she had never locked it. Mary had thought that the kitchen door had just swung open and shut due to the wind. However, her assumption turned out to be terribly wrong. She noticed four young men wearing masks standing in the doorway, and she knew that it couldn't be a good sign. Before the men could get to her, Mary threw her plates on the floor, which shattered and surprised them. She took advantage of this moment to run towards her bathroom as fast as she could. Even though she was old and not very agile, she managed to reach the bathroom. As she turned around to close the door behind her, she slipped and fell on the floor, leaving herself defenseless. She didn't know what to do, and before she could react, the men caught up to her and surrounded her in the bathroom. Although Mary tried to scream, nothing came out, and she had no choice but to accept whatever was to come next. Mary closed her eyes tightly, bracing herself for the unknown. But instead of what she expected, she heard men screaming and running away from her. When she opened her eyes, she saw a large cat attacking the four men, who were frantically trying to escape from her house. As soon as she got to her feet, the men had fled, leaving the big cat in her living room staring at her. Without warning, the cat walked up to her and gently nudged her leg, reminding Mary of Tibby, her beloved kitten from years ago. Mary realized that the big cat was actually Tibby, all grown up and fiercely protective of her. Tibby had been watching over Mary from afar and knew when strangers entered her home that something was wrong. Mary was filled with gratitude towards her old friend and overjoyed to have found her again. It was an incredible story, and it made Mary wonder if she would have saved the little kitten if she had the chance. A woman adopted a stray cat. She discovered a startling truth after taking it to the vet. This happened in Argentina. When a young woman and her younger brother went fishing, they found two animals that looked like cats in a cave. Next to them was their dead mother. At that time, they were looking for milk from their mother. The kittens, who looked less than a week old, were hungry and helpless, cuddling with each other. Their mother might be attacked by larger animals. If they don't save these kittens, these kittens may be in danger. Obviously they were no match for other animals. The woman was so kind that she took them home. She had no idea how two kittens survived before she found them. One kitten was too weak to stand up. Unfortunately, it finally happened. A week later, that kitten died. The other kitten gradually recovered after being taken good care of. It became the woman's faithful friend and followed her everywhere. It obeys the command of her whistle. Recently the woman noticed that it was abnormal because it was too active. It likes to play, bite and run very fast. It always jumps on the table and then jumps off. It thought this is normal. The woman thought it might be a rare breed of cat and that that was its nature. She didn't expect it to be a cougar. One day the kitten hurt its leg and the woman took it to the vet. The vet could not identify its breed. Therefore, the woman contacted the animal and plant sanctuary and sent the photo. Finally she learned it wasn't a cat but a ferocious cougar. After this, she could not keep the cougar. She had to hand over the cougar to the Argentine Wildlife Rescue Foundation for release. Even though it's a cougar, the woman missed it and feared it wouldn't be able to adapt to life in the wild. But she knew that wild animals were not pets and they should return to nature. Even though their affection is deep, she can't breed it. What happened to this Argentine woman is amazing. She kept an animal, took it to the vet and found out it was a cougar. It's really dramatic. Some netizens joke that a lion who can't pretend to be a cat is not a good lion. As dramatic as it is, being kind is always good. A Russian peasant did a good thing, but the result was a bit unexpected. A Russian peasant once adopted homeless animals, but the result was shocking. He found four adorable kittens in his barn. They looked like normal gray cats, so the man didn't suspect their species. In order to keep them alive, 
the man brought them into the house and fed them. After bringing them home, he found these kittens were so small that they couldn't even eat on their own. He gave them some milk through a straw and took good care of them. The man thought these four kittens looked special. He was cautious and called the Nature Conservancy to ask for help. Once the experts got there, they found these animals were not common because they are mammals, a kind of rare wild cat. This is a breed endemic to Central Asia. The mammal is a rare wild cat. They look like domestic cats, but they have a unique size. Once they stand up and walk, we will find that their legs are very short. Because of the dense fur, they look chubby. In the end, the experts brought them back to the Nature Conservation Organization. The staff had no experience in keeping this rare species. They tried to let a cat couple take care of them. This cat couple regarded them as their own children and took good care of them. After all, they're not domestic cats. Rescue workers decided to return them to the wild after they were weaned and could eat food by themselves. Rescue workers put positioning collars on them. In Winder, they had unprecedented challenges. Then they lost their collars. When workers found them, they were quite emaciated. Workers decided to keep them. The mammals were released back into the wild again in spring. Fortunately, the plan to return them to the wild went well. They adapted to the wild environment quickly. After they returned to the forest, they did not forget the man. They walked around his house from time to time whether it's windy or rainy. Long-term cultivated habits make them cry. Maybe they are calling for the man who rescued them. After seeing pictures of adult mammals, most people say they look like fierce cats. These netizens admire the keen observation of this farmer. Although mammals look fierce, they can be cute sometimes. Even if you like chubby wild cats, you can't keep them at home. They are wild animals after all. They are not cute when eating meat. What's more, they can hardly be tamed because they are suitable for living in the wild. It's said that one mammal is worth thousands of dollars on the black market. That man could have sold them and got a lot of money, but he didn't. When he realized these animals were strange, he immediately called the Nature Conservation Organization and asked them to rescue these animals. When this incident was posted online and more people learned about it, everyone lamented that they were very cute and praised this kind man. The mammal is a rare animal. Whether it's cute and cranky or not, they shouldn't be housed. The best place for them to live is nature. Nature is a huge and complex ecosystem formed by the evolution of the earth for thousands of years. In this system, the destruction of wild animals will cause a series of chain reactions with serious consequences. Therefore, we should protect wild animals. Human beings should respect nature instead of wanton trampling and brutal interference, let alone try to change nature. Otherwise, we will be punished by nature. We should pay attention to the harmony between man and nature. To protect biodiversity is to protect ourselves. Whether we are facing wild animals or domestic animals, we must be sincere and not contact them with a purpose. Don't hurt them. It is our responsibility to prevent harm. We are a part of this earth. Let's try our best to get a better world, add a beautiful landscape to the world and make this world vibrant.